Today we're going to look at how you can use the history brush to paint in part of an image. I'm going to open file in recent texture.psd. That's my texture file and I'm going to want to put that onto file open recent flower2.psd. So I'm going to choose select all, notice the marching ants, edit, copy. Now that I've done that, I can actually close this window and you'll see that I have the texture image back. I have my background layer with the texture image. I'm going to choose edit, paste. And now I'm going to flatten the image. Layer, flatten image. This gives me one layer again. But what happened to my poor little texture file that we just did? It's here in the history panel. Let me pull out the history panel so that we can see this clearly through the process. The texture is here in the opening snapshot. What I need to do now is to also capture a snapshot of just this flower as the background layer. So I'm going to click Create New Snapshot. And I'm actually going to leave this as Snapshot 1 because it's the only one we've got that we're going to do. We can see you've got the texture here and the flower there. Now what I want to do is to paint the texture into the flower. So I'm going to choose the History Brush tool and a brush size that's semi-reasonable. I'm in the normal mode. Whoops, my opacity is only 52%. Let me com Command-D and get rid of that and go back up to 100% here. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to paint over this flower. Right now, I'm trying to put everything in one stroke so that we can play and see if we like the result. Actually, you want to cover at least the entire part of the image. So this is a little bit messy, but I want to make sure that the entire flower is covered. Both flowers, actually. Because once we use a blend mode, it's going to be really hard to go back to this. So I'm just scribbling over the flowers. Made worse by the fact, of course, that I can't see what I'm doing under the menu. Okay, that's close enough. At this point, I can choose Edit Fade History Brush. And now I can play with blend modes and see what it looks like in Darken. Now you can see the flower through it, and actually I can't see anything in the background. That could be a good choice. Multiply, well that's starting to get a little messy. Screen, I don't want to bore you through all of the possibilities here. And overlay, soft light, or hard light. I know from having played with this before that hard light was my favorite. So I'm going to leave it that way and click OK. But what do I do about the messies? Well, what I can do here is to take the history brush icon and click down here on the little empty square in front of snapshot one. Notice that I am not moving where my history brush is. I am simply moving this icon. And now when I use the history brush, I am bringing back my original photo. And that's really all there is to it. If I paint too much there, I could go back and bring this back. But then I need to go in again and choose Edit, Fade, History Brush, and hope that I'm not going to make a mess when I go into hard light again. And it does make it a little bit different. 
So you're better off making sure that you don't empty too much. You can always make your brush smaller as well. Uh, you, one of the easier ways to do that, of course, is to go up here and choose the size of your brush. I will, it's easy, it's not necessarily fast, but it does work. And now be careful where you're painting. I should be painting with the flower, so I need to check that again and come back in here. Do as good a job as I can and then say, okay, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions, just let me know.